Do you have a favorite memory of Palmer that you can share with us? Well, um, I think part of of Arnie's personality came to the forefront for me at the Ryder Cup in 1975. And, you know, you allude to I having won the Open in 74. So I was fortunate enough to make Arnie's team. At, we played at Laurel Valley, which is his backyard. And he did not want that other team to win a point. So this does no, no disrespect to the other team, but that showed his competitive nature. And I just went out of that team room. Boy, was I charged up. I could have played right then and there on the spot. And that really charged me on to in the five, uh, well, the four and a half matches, uh, the matches I played in, let's put it that way, I won four of them and halved another. So I didn't lose a point. Uh, I lost a half a point, but at the same time, that's the way he wanted things done, the right way and, and full speed ahead. We've talked about all the things that you've taken from Palmer, but you were the President's Cup captain before he was named the President's Cup captain. Did he ever go to you and, and ask for advice? <laughs> oh, no. Uh, I take no, that as a no. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I don't think that there was too much that slipped through Arnie. He was pretty aware of what was going on. And I don't think Arnie, if he wanted to know something, he had no problem in coming to you and asking and vice versa. He made it receptive the other way. If there was something that I needed to know, I never felt like I had to go around somebody or go to his people. He wanted you to go straight to him. And I, I think there's... Uh, an awful lot to be said about that in today's world, how we seem to circumvent the, some of our issues and go around them rather than just tackling them straight on. And that was Arnold Palmer. Despite recent health struggles, Chris Bosch has had his mind set to return to the court, but it may not be possible. Bosch has failed his physical, meaning the Miami Heat will not clear him for training.